Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, XI Hammer, and I'm playing some Dragon Quest Builders 2. Now, in the last episode, we got quite a lot done. Alright, we got some uh, some of the castle built, or some of the interior castle built. We got the uh, potato patch done, with uh, the lovely war room in it, because Jerome's a bit of a weirdo and seems to think we're going to war. And, um, yeah, it was all good fun. Alright, now, yes, we are going magical crystal farming. Okay, so, we apparently need to go this away. May as well collect this while I'm here, haven't I? Waste not, want not, and all that. And I know what happens, right? Oh, also, we did get this lovely new hammer. And I made the steel shield, just because it was slightly better than the one I had on. Okay, so, awesome. Right, and it turns out the headhunters drop meat as well, which is really cool. So that's going to be a nice meat farm. Oh yes. And this is like the super ambush. Right, because you would think that like something would happen. But no, we have got to fight these Hargonauts. Right, and when they're all hitting you, it's not very nice. Right. <laughs> yeah, they really hurt. They really do. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. And these ones kind of shield up. They tend to do it just before they're going to die, which is typical, yet very ir irritating. Wow, seriously, dude? Like, what was that about? Come on, chill. I'll tell you what, the crits off these uh, steel broadswords are really cool. <laughs> they hit really hard. There we go. Right, all ten of the Hargonauts have been defeated. Great. Right. Now, let's go find those magic crystals. But, before we do... <laughs> right, okay, because I tend to wander a lot as I'm playing. Right, and I will uh, grab these magic crystals while I'm here. And then I will show you. Hopefully, they've spawned in. Right, be oh, hello. I nearly missed you. Right, if you scale the mountain... Right, it doesn't matter how you do it. But, if you scale the mountain and come up here... Have they spawned in? Yes, right. There are Hargonauts up here. And they're invincible. Right? They literally will just take zero damage. So, I wouldn't recommend trying to defeat them, but it is quite cool. The fact that they're there, but you can't defeat them. Hmm. Right. Very cool. Right. <laughs> also, these enemies. Okay. Although very irritating, they do serve a very, very, very cool purpose. Okay. They can drop glass. Which is awesome. Right, these enemies can drop the uh, magical crystals as well. But it's probably easier just to farm them off the floor if I'm completely honest. Because you get more and there's just less de less effort involved. If that makes sense. Right. But I will get these enemies to drop glass before I run off back. I'm just going to take a few extra. Because I know you need more than what they ask you to get. And although... Yeah, once I finish this episode, I will be coming back and getting a few more. Yeah. Ah, there we go, right? They drop glass, which is cool. Because it means you don't have to sit there crafting it. <laughs> right, so any enemy that drops an item that you don't have to craft in my book, it's a winner. Right, it really is. Right, we've got that silly thing there, but I haven't bothered with the rest of them, so it's all good. Right, so yeah, right, if you're lucky enough, you can, because they spawn in in fives, I think it is. So, you know, you've got, I don't know, however much of a chance of getting some glass. Right, plus the Nimbus will probably come and attack you, I'm not sure. Depends what mood he's in. Right, <laughs> and uh, yes, there we go. So, winner, winner. The indefeatable enemies and glass. So you don't have to go and farm sand. Which is pretty cool, all around. Right, admit it. Go on. <laughs> right, now. Ooh, there we go. Right, up here, go and talk to uh, Zara. Wonderful stuff. Right. Hmm. Zap traps. Let's get to building some zap traps. Ah, oh, I'll talk to Anessa first, then shall I? 
Uh, yep, I have them, I have them, and them, and that. <laughs> Wicked. All right, craft six something. So, there we go. Boom. Ah, yes. I for always forget about this. A magic table, it takes time. All right, but the cool thing is, once you've turned it into a uh, proper room, the residents will come over and speed it up. Or some of the residents will, right? which is pretty cool, if you ask me. All right, has he started putting potatoes in here? Winner, winner. <laughs> uh, because I'm starving. All right. I'm not. You see, I've managed to, you know, just get along on my own. Uh, how many do we need? 205? Why on earth not? It's unlimited. It's just a shame it's not like the old game where it used to be, you know. But, alas, alas, we can't win them all, can we? Right, so... Yes, let's put all of that away. Go down here. We've got two that are ready. So, I mean, we can go throw two down. These things are so cool as well. Not only do they look, like, visually amazing. Oh, I need to break that down. There we go. Look at that. Once you've put the second one down, they are... <laughs> when you can stay on the wall and walk in a straight line and put it down. Look at that. Oh, they look even better when those enemies try and jump over the daft falls. Honestly. Alright. Now, this is the only bit about the whole design I don't like. The fact that you have to put it there. But, uh, I don't know. It is what it is, isn't it? I suppose. Let's go and get the last two zappies. And then we'll pop them up here. And then, we should be... Or golden. And kadoing. Look at that. What a beauty. Hello, Vanessa. <laughs> right. Now, I will also warn you that sometimes the jumpers can still get through. Alright. I don't know whether this is one of the many glitches of Dragon Quest Builders 2. But they can. And it is rather annoying. As you have gone out of your way to... Uh, make these and they can still get through sometimes not all the times right but just sometimes they will uh, jump up and make it still get through i'm very confused as to why this happens right now if anybody knows and you want to well if you're watching the videos you just want to let me know down in the comments because it really irritates me <laughs> it really does right no don't let them in you fool Warwick, just go away. <laughs> Stop it. You're not allowed to play anymore. Alright. Okay. Yes, they were. Well done. <laughs> Jerome. Oh, did they? Ah, Santa Claus is hiding more than uh, food in his beard, then. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Right, beautiful stuff. Oh, hello, Warwick. Uh, yes, this is true. So the main gate is rebuilt. I ain't rebuilding that. You mad, Warwick. Look, you've got blue hair. Oh, same, man. I've got green hair, but... <laughs> okay, they... Ah, oh, are they going to build it for me? That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Uh, I don't have enough points to ring the bell. Stop it, Warwick. You don't know what you're talking about. My precious pet potato was in my pocket. Hmm. Um, okay, Zara. Oh, so the spy stole your pet potato out of your pocket. Hmm. Oh, medication station. I like that. It's got a nice ring to it. Glass. <laughs> uh, right. Brick barbecue, a chest, and a well. And I'm assuming he's going to teach me how to make a brick barbecue. Or should I say I'm going to self-educate myself on how to make a, a brick barbecue. Ah, oh, wonderful stuff. Right, so... 
I have gone ahead, right, because this is where my kitchen is going to be. So I did already throw a well down and a chest. Because Moonbrook's a very strange place. Right, so I do have a bonfire ready as well. I'm so prepared sometimes. Just sometimes though. Right, and I have crates and a chest and a table. I just needed this. All right, which luckily I found a gla bit of glass, didn't I? So, I mean, I was quids in there. Right, <laughs> I need that and that. Right, so the crate, I do believe. Uh, I might put it over here. Right, so if I put the crate there with a first aid station on it. I did not make any stalls, did I? Oh, I didn't do it all. I thought I had. Right, it's just a stall. So let's make 91 of them. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing having unlimited resources. You just do whatever you want with it. Or oh, I do, anyway. There we go. Medication station. Yeah, you guys come in where it's nice. I would say dry, but it's, you know, where it's cold and safe-ish. Right? <laughs> uh, wicked. So the soldiers can heal themselves up. Cool beans. Oh, that. Oh, this traitor. Come on, guys. Relax. Stop it. All right. And I'm pretty sure if I just throw my big, uh, brick barbecue down, I don't like it there. It was uh, It's going to be in the way of the door, weren't it? All right. If I throw it there, <laughs> that's better. And then I'm going to collect all the hearts. Uh, Warwick, please stop. Please, just no. Right, let's talk to uh, Jerome then. Uh, yes, marvellous. Ah, they do rub it on. Honestly, they really don't need to talk this much. Soldier stew. Potato, meat and water. Beautiful stuff. And um, what does good old Anessa want? Uh... Ah, a wizard's workshop. Crystal ball, comfy cushion, and an incense burner. I'm pretty sure I can make this stuff happen. Really? Oh, come on, game. Thank you. Right. So, we need that. Uh, we could put that away and that away. So now, alright, if we go to the... Ah, uh, uh, game, come on, please, stop. Right, bottomless pot, and then we go to here, and we press the right trigger. Look, it puts water in there. <laughs> Who knew, right? And then we'll click cook on that. <laughs> and what else was I doing? I'll go and take my baked potato because I don't need any fancy schmancy food like this soldier stew. Right, uh, collect that. Why not? Now, uh, we need an incense burner, a crystal ball, which I sometimes wish I had one in reality, but it would be nice. Right? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And it's a good job we've got some cotton from the uh, freezier plants we've been farming. So, if I put a crate over here in this corner and an incense burner on that, and then maybe, 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 maybe next to this, if I put this down like that. Hey, a large, a large wizard's workshop. Wow. And I still need more gratitude points. Really? Where's Anessa at? Hey, okay. Oh, there she is. Was she always there? Oh, I'm not convinced, you know. How long have I known Malroth? Uh, quite a while now. Uh, I've seen my fair share of fighters over the years, but never one as strong as him. It's because he's special. Hmm. Oh, don't be so mean about my Malroth. 
He hits like a truck. He can stay around as long as he wants. He can act like a complete fool. It's fine. He kills many enemies. Um, <laughs> he does a better job than you, Anessa. So, leave him be. Alright. Let's make uh, 40 odd steelish bits. Right. So, Soldier Stew is complete. So, we'll take that. Make him chase us because it's funny. Alright, come on out here, Jerome. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why. Right. But we can also give the bell a ring by the looks of that. So, let's give him his Soldier Stew. Let him get that down his gullet. Ooh. <laughs> it's by this, spy, that's by the other Wii U people. <laughs> hmm. A Ra's mirror. Legendary artifact that shows everyone's true self in it. Beautiful stuff. Right, so. There we go. Now I can raise the base level up. Alright, marvellous stuff. Enemies were defeated. Look at that, just in time as well. So let's uh, give this bell another smash. And let's see how many newbies we get. Oh, the Royal Guards learn a spell, Kaboff. And they want to help construct. Whoa! Uh. I'm pretty sure that's seven soldiers. Hmm. That's a lot of steel broadswords. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Bathtub, training... Oh, target dummies? Crockpots? Oh. Ballista? Ooh. I miss a ballista. They were so cool. Against the uh, Hades Condor. <laughs> I remember that fight vividly. Right, now, I will show... <laughs> See, it fell down the steps again. <laughs> so weird. Right, now, before you welcome everybody, this is what I was saying in the previous episode, all right? If I come and make seven of these, which is a very, very convenient number, if I do say so myself. All right, but where are they? Here they are, okay? And then you can come and like this one. I can give one to him. Um, one to him. Or is that the same person? Fearless Footman. Really? Go on, game. Right. Eager Ensign. Raw Recruit. Because they're all just stood still and it's so much easier to do it when they're like this than having to try and chase them around and give them weapons. And then you lose who you've given what to and... Timid Trooper. There we go. Right. So, see, they're all now fully equipped. I don't have to worry about it. But look at it. Oh, they're all cold. <laughs> That's so cool. This is a perfect picture moment. But, uh, well, it would be, but I can't zoom out. I can not because the bell is in the way. Really? No. Anessa, what are you doing? Crazy, crazy lady. Anyway, I quite like that. It's beautiful. Right. Uh, let's welcome them. Ready, willing, and able. Every one of us. <laughs> yeah, when they, like, you know, greet them into your place, it's a bit boring. Seven more stalwart soldiers move into Moonbrook Castle. And one of them's got a, yeah, a mediocre goatee at best. Alright, and dispatch. <laughs> They're all gone. Where are they all going? For food. We were like, we're so hungry. I know, they're all straight in the war room. Look at that. That's so cool. That is so cool. Right. Uh, seriously? Not a single medicinal herb. But look at all of this. All right. It's like a super meat farm. Super iron farm. You just don't have to do anything. It's so cool. All right. Eh, up here. Up here. Let's... Uh, Come over here, and Warwick should follow us. I oh, know, because we're inside the uh, castle walls now, aren't we? So I'll go and greet Warwick. Oh, yes. 
It's all thanks to me, is it? Again. Um. Ah, very nice. Huh. Whining whelp. Uh, yeah, okay. Or not. Right, so they're all going to go and stand over here, which is just perfect, because I am going to end this episode off here. And, seeing as though they're all there, I get to go and do a bit of farming. And, um, yeah, it should be lovely, because they should all just stay where they're meant to be. So, yeah, guys, I am going to... Look how many people I've got. End this episode off here. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.